Welcome back. A major piece of your training program is going to be measuring and being accountable. Right? So the most important thing for you as you go through this is to be able to use our performance improvement process and then in addition to that, holding yourself accountable as you go. So Ben, talk about accountability and training and, and what does that look like? Um, well, it's really important to hold yourself accountable to your training. I think one of the important aspects of this is uh, you're starting to uncover what's allowing you to get better as one of the things why, why this accountability piece is so important. And then the other thing is you want to make sure that you're getting measurably better in a reasonable time. So if you're not documenting this stuff and holding yourself accountable, you don't really know. So if you're not measuring, you're guessing. Okay. So if we can measure it, we can manage it. Yep. And then we can make measurable progress, reasonable time, a standard that we would hold. Uh, basically, that is our standard here. That is our standard. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. So um, the, the documents below... Uh, is a way that we've designed to help you keep yourself accountable to what skills you need to train and then in what order. So you can go to our website and, and download the PDF so when you take it with you uh, that you're actually putting a pencil to the paper and making sure that you're progressing appropriately back to making measurable progress at a reasonable time. You got it. All right, so depending on your skill level, we have the red tee, the gray tee, the blue tee, and the black tee. Uh, so depending on your skill level, uh, download the appropriate sheet uh, as the standards or the margins are a little bit tighter as you go, as you get better. Um, so let's demonstrate here. Uh, for folks, if you're trying to make solid contact, we would start with the divot. You got it. Yeah. All right. So on our sheet, whether you're the red tee or the gray tee, everybody starts at the divot. And in this case, Ben, you have a towel laid down here. So that's you... my feedback, right? So I need feedback with this activity. Cool. So I have to hold myself accountable to how many times I miss the towel and strike the ground. In a perfect world, we would love to see you just do this in front of a net. You're trying to remove as much uh, additional feedback as possible. So when you're focusing on divot, we're just focusing on the divot. We're not worried about center face or the direction. So the more feedback you remove for these activities, the more effective you will be in your training. And back to the accountability piece. In this thing, the only thing we're being accountable to is... Divot. The divot. Yep. Okay, so show us here. Uh, make a couple swings here. I'd say you start with no ball. And what we're trying to figure out is how to hit the ground without hitting the, the towel. In this case, the towel is the feedback, like Ben had said. And then we want to give you 10 attempts, and we want to see how many times out of 10 you can effectively accomplish the task. Yeah? So Ben, uh, let's say at the, the blue tee, you're getting about two and a half inches or three, three inches there, so not much. Mm -hmm. In this case, you talked about removing feedback, so we turn the radar around. Yep. We're not gonna worry about the, you know, we're not gonna worry about the ball, it's just can you hit the ground without hitting the mm -hmm. towel? You wanna give it a shot? So another, th uh, another thing you're gonna notice on your sheet, it says what one thing are you committing to through the activity? So I have to document what I'm gonna commit to in order to accomplish the goal. One of the reasons that's so important is it's going to allow you to reflect back on what allowed you to be successful throughout these activities uh, in case you ever need that tool when you're out playing golf. Yeah, so finding out what works effectively, yep. right? And documenting that it helps you to remember, recall, reflect, what have you. Yeah, so okay. my one thing that I'm going to be committing to as I'm doing this activity right now is just the free swinging motion. So I'm going to keep my attention on the weight of the club head all the way through the motion because I know if I do that appropriately, uh, my ability to control the divot is actually, it's quite simple. All right, so you would write in the box, uh, free swinging motion, and then yep. you would give yourself 10 balls with the feedback loop. You yes? got it, you got it. Okay, no towel and the ground, yeah? Yep. One for one, here we go. Same, no towel, two ground, for two. two for two. Mm -hmm. So now this, this isn't going to be uh, that easy at home. This activity is actually relatively difficult. Uh, we demonstrate it every day, so it's become easy over time. So don't get too frustrated with yourself as you're doing this. The good thing to know, let's say that you get less than 7 out of 10 with the divot. The good thing to know is that you need to continue to train it. So like Ben had said, getting better over time. So let's say that people have a hard time. If you have a hard time controlling the divot, it's not time to talk about the direction yet. No, no need. Yeah, so you definitely want to stay in this lane. So this shape is going to move from left to right. Don't move to the next skill until you successfully uh, complete 7 out of 10 or more for the divot in this case. Once you get 7 out of 10 on the divot, then you can go to the right and do center face contact. When you come back tomorrow or the subsequent day to train again, start at the divot again. You got it. So you're always going to be starting at the divot and then moving from left to right on our sheet here. Okay, so use this sheet to help keep yourself accountable. Uh, identify what it takes, what you're committing to, 
and then uh, use this tool. We know it'll help you. It's helped our students here at BGOLF. Uh, so thank you for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.